Amazon released a web service called Mechanical Turk, which is basically a labor distribution tool. So Amazon um, basically says, here's thousands of workers coming online to do simple tasks, and now you can pay them a very small fee and have them do anything for you. And they open the API to developers. And I was thinking, well, what would happen if we use these people for creative tasks and kind of embrace the fact that they're actually people behind these terminals? And I started off by taking uh, frames from Charlie Chaplin's Modern Times, which is kind of about the last changes in the labor systems. So I, I took a frame where, where Charlie Chaplin's being pushed through gears physically. And I took one frame segmented into 16 pieces. And I fed those pieces into the Mechanical Turk with a custom drawing tool that I created and said, basically, draw what you see. And nobody has any idea what it is that they're creating. But in the end, they're all working together to create this animation of uh, Charlie Chaplin's body being pushed through these gears. So these people did amazing jobs. I think particularly because it was a creative task, because they were kind of embracing the fact that they, you know, this was something unique and kind of fun. Um, so from there, I kind of began thinking about what other things can, can I do. And I started thinking about metaphors and kind of the ways that I see the system, or at least ways that I could, uh, with more than a hint of irony, kind of get people thinking about what this type of system means. So I, I used Mechanical Turk uh, and set up a, a very simple request. I said, draw sheep facing to the left, and I'll pay you two cents for your toil. So I, I chose sheep for a variety of reasons. First of all, selectively bred, and then kind of uh, harvested, using them for their wool and for uh, other, other things. And of course, then of course, cloning. Uh, and I created a little drawing tool and pointed them to it. And I actually recorded the process of them drawing the sheep in addition to the drawing itself. People didn't actually realize that they were being monitored. They had no idea why they were drawing a sheep. But for some reason, 10,000 people contributed their sheep. Uh, and now at thesheepmarket.com, you can see every single sheep and how it was drawn. And you can watch the animation process. And this is kind of a sample of those, which ended up being printed on um, collectible stamps. Obviously, I wanted to create a website, and I wanted to put it back online in the form that uh, I think it closely matches, which is this online exhibition and allowing it to be reached by the masses, seeing as though it was created by the masses. Um, but I also wanted to create kind of an installation where a viewer could kind of be physically engaged with it and kind of be surrounded by the sheep. Uh, so that, that's what made me print out print out all the stamps and actually hang them on the wall uh, in this gigantic matrix. And I think what I really liked about that format was that it really shows this structured system. When, you, when you're back looking at it, it looks like some kind of weird barcode, like a uh, weird computerized thing. And as you get closer to it, you realize that it's actually extremely kind of organic, personal it data that's being you know, clustered into the system. And when you juxtapose that kind of intimate process with this huge kind of computer bureaucratized grid-like barcode system. I, I think you get some kind of interesting, I get some interesting revelations from it.